Good morning, everybody. It's good to see you today. My name is Valerie. I'm one of the pastors on staff. And today I want to share with you a verse that I was reminded of recently. I think many of you are probably familiar with 1 Peter 5, 7, which says, cast all your cares on the Lord because he cares for you. But recently I was reminded of the Old Testament version of that verse in Psalm 55, verse 22, which says, cast your cares on the Lord and he will sustain you. And I got to thinking as I pondered on that verse, you know, I think I have the first part of the verse down. I'm pretty good at casting my cares on the Lord. I'm pretty good at going to God and saying, I just don't get this. I don't know what I'm going to do in this situation. Lord, please help me. What I am not very good at is letting him sustain me. I tend to want to give him all my cares, talk about it with him, and then take them all back and walk away and try to solve them on my own. When I was a little girl, I had already developed the stubborn streak that I enjoy to this very day. And my mom would tell me that when faced with a task, or something that needed to be done, she would try to offer my, her help or advice as moms and dads will do. And I would look up at her and I would just say, no, me do it. Now I had no skills or ability to tackle some of these things, but that did not stop me from stomping my foot and looking my mother straight in the eye and saying, no, me do it. Now, I have to confess that I don't think I've completely outgrown that habit yet. I think that my words may have become more flowery and, uh, and acceptable, but my attitude is the same. I'm willing to, as I said, cast my cares on the Lord, but then I essentially look up at the God of the universe and say, no, me do it. I'll solve it. Me do it. But this verse, what just struck me with this verse is that it calls us not to just dump our cares on the God of the universe and walk away. It says, no, leave your cares there and let him sustain you. To use my toddler words, this verse is saying, he do it, not me do it. So today I wanna to encourage you, whatever your cares are, no matter how big they are, no matter how small they are, no matter how long you've been carrying them, Follow the advice of this verse, the promise of this verse. Cast your cares on the Lord. When you kind of hear in your mind you saying to God, no, me do it. Lay that burden down again. Cast that care down again and let God sustain you today. And that the way he sustains you, who knows what that will look like? It could look like, you know, driving by the ocean and being reminded that the God who has heard your cares made the ocean. He takes care of the ocean. He can certainly handle your cares. His sustaining today may look like a phone call from a friend that reminds you that you're not alone. His sustaining today may look like an answer to that prayer, to that care. It may look like a miracle. His sustaining today may just feel like a deep peace, that peace that passes all understanding. But what we know is that he will sustain you. He will do it. I hope that you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you soon.